Today's all about experimentation with the jelly plate. Let's just do it. So welcome back. We are going to just freeform draw on the plate with some high flow paints. So I'm going to do a solid background first. That will be my first layer. Nothing too creative, just this is an experiment. I'm not even sure it's going to work. So I don't want to spend a lot of time making a really interesting background only to ruin it. So <laughs> Anyway, who knows what's going to happen. Then I'm going to use high flow paint and we're going to just paint with the nozzle right on the jelly plate. It's going to be a lot of paint. It's going to take a really long time to dry and hopefully it's not going to ruin anything like my plate. I doubt it. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to start with alizarin crimson and also a little bit of quinacridone nickel azo gold. I still have some. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it, but um, I'm gonna kind of blend it, but not that much. I like the I like the juxtaposition of these two colors to, side by side, with slight blending going on. And this is gonna just be my simple background. And then I'm gonna use an iridescent copper on top of this. Those, the copper on top of these two colors is absolutely beautiful. So you see we get this really nice rich color and I intentionally didn't blend it that much. It gives a little added interest. So I have this iridescent copper in a little needle nose bottle. That cap keeps getting in the way. And I'm just dabbing the plate with it and I'm gonna draw with it. I, I wanted to start with the needle nose because I, I didn't, I thought maybe I would get a more del delicate line. I was, this is experimenting, so I wanted to try it. And we'll see what happens. So now go right over that sheet while well, it's obviously still wet. And I'm using rice paper. Rice paper will really, you know, suck up the paint. So you could see how that thick paint, well, it wasn't really thick, it's, it's high flow, which is very fluid but because it was like beating up on the plate, when we smashed the paper down, we got like a really interesting impression. So now I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and we will then put on some Payne's Gray to pick up the ghost. So I like, I didn't wait for it to completely dry. So some of the gold or the copper came up on my brayer, which was fine because it left me with this really beautiful image. A more subtle image than I probably would have had if I had waited for the entire thing to dry. But because it's high flow paint, it's very wet and it's just sitting on the top of the plate, it, it takes really long time to dry and I just didn't have the patience. but beautiful. Certain areas that are only like an outline, that is because the inside of that outline came off on my brayer. So now I'm going to teal, which is a very opaque color. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put on top of this just yet. But this is also one of my favorite colors, so I will definitely appreciate having this in my collage stash. So 
So I got a pretty nice solid teal and I picked up a little bit of the copper that was still on the plate. So now I'm using high flow carbon black right from the bottle. I'm just going to use the nozzle tip and I'm getting a lot more paint as you can see than I was with the needle nose. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen here, but I, I'm trying different types of things just to see how it all reacts and what happens and how long it takes to dry, you know, all of that. So since that had a really big blob, I'm trying to spread it out a little bit. Wherever there's really heavy application, I'm trying to at least, you know, push it out so that it is not quite so thick in one area. So now it's really bleeding through. I didn't want my hands to get totally dirty, although you had to see how black they got. Well, you'll see later. Um, Anyway, so I'm using this piece of copy paper to pick up, which actually left me with a really nice piece of collage paper. So I decided to pick up even some more with some deli paper because those little, that little dotted pattern would be great as a transparent item in collage. And now look at this wonderful, it's almost like a Rorschach Rush, test. It's, I think it's fantastic. And there's many areas of that that um, I could cut out of there. And so now I'm going to use the deli paper to pick up the excess. And it's still, it's even coming through the deli paper. So I'm using this to keep my hands a little cleaner. And then when I pulled, I got this sort of stripe effect. So I put that over the dotted one. I'm using these deli papers just to it's a twofold thing. It's cleaning my plates so that I can move on to another background, but it's also going to be great collage paper. So now I'm using quidacridone red. And I decide to add a little bit of yellow. I use Hansa yellow and I'm just sort of blending swirling it around blending without totally blending I don't know, sometimes I think I should just make these backgrounds off camera and then just show you the experimental part but I don't know, maybe you benefit from both. Please um, let me know in the comments below if this book part bores you. Anyway, so now we're back to our black. And this time I'm doing a thinner application because it was so thick and gloppy last time, I decided to try a thinner application. But I think it's a little too contrived, a little too, I don't know. A little boring. Now I'm picking up with this last sheet that I just made. Maybe it's just a little too evenly spaced or something. I don't know. As you could see, my hands got really black in this session. Yeah, it's definitely my least favorite. Trying to get as clean as possible. Anyway, this is a quinacridone magenta. I'm just going to thinly cover the whole thing, but then I decide to put alizarin crimson. Now these two colors are really beautiful together. You get a really nice rich color. 
they're not completely blended like I said with all, all the other ones as well I wanted to try another iridescent copper one and these nice rich colors are beautiful with copper So this time with the copper, I'm doing it with from the nozzle. I like what I did with the black, where I you know pulled some of the wet wet areas through. So I'm doing that again. But I'm also leaving a big blobby area. So the iridescent gold doesn't really go through like the black did. Not so much. Look at how fantastic this came out. So then I decide to just pick it up, pick up the wet paint with some copy paper. I'm sure that could be useful for something. And then I'm just going to pick it up with the alizarin cream. Well, I think this might be the magenta. So it's going to be subtle, but I don't, I don't want to waste it. Whatever little sheen that I get, it will be good. See, a nice little subtle sheen. And then we're going to do some more black. I love contrast. Black is my favorite. I'm starting to repeat some things that I was happy with on previous. black and magenta you gotta love it especially with a little bit of sheen in the background so here are my results that first one I really love I just love the little dots I think it's going to be interesting for collage the colors beautiful and I love this more subtle one you could see there was a ghost of that one and the the Payne's gray kind of made this really interesting dusty blue magenta and black that that was my last one absolutely love it but this one probably is my favorite because there are lots of little areas that I can pull out and put into collage least favorite obviously but I could still use pieces of this so this one probably is also maybe this one's my favorite I don't know it's hard to say and then the added benefit is all my cleanup sheets. The subtle ones, the ones with just dots. I think they will all be a nice addition to my collage stash. 
So don't forget to include experimenting in your studio practice. It's so important. And you never know where it's going to take you. Much of my experimenting lately has taken me to a totally new place with my art. So don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.